see what you wanted to see out there today? I know you like these days. I, I think the camp, uh, judging from the testing, uh, the results there, and today's skate, uh, most of the camp seems to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, Some guys are a little bit behind, but uh, I think they'll get caught up to speed here pretty quickly. How do you decide when to end the drill over there? Some of the players were saying that there's no definitive stopping point. It's just when you see what you want to see. I mean, as far as the skate at the end? Yeah, right. No, I know exactly where when I'm going to end it. Right. Yeah. They don't, though. They don't. Can you articulate what, what, what no, you're looking it's, for? No, it's none of their business when it's going <laughs> to end. So, no. No, what? No, I know when it's going to end, and uh, um, and it's and it's go the bottom line is it's going to pay off. It, it, it's one of the things that we can control as a coaching staff and players is our conditioning level, and a lot of other things in our game you can't. Yeah. And so we are going to work. It is going to be a high volume of skating in camp here. That's why we have it broken down in such small numbers into the four right. groups, so they get more reps with the puck, and uh, and, and we're allow allowed to get to them as far as pushing them physically. So I thought it was a really good day. GD's made no, he's shown no hesitance to say that, that this camp is wide open for young players to take jobs. Yes. You, you've expressed that to the players as well. Is this as wide open as you can remember a campaign that you've had? I, I think it, it it is going to be uh, one of the more competitive camps that I've been involved with as far as uh, maybe people unseating people uh, that have had a position for quite a while. And, uh, I. I I think in today's game, it is a, uh, it's turned to a young man's game. I'm not threatening anybody on our team that, that has veteran status here, but I think there's going to be some really good push here. And uh, uh, anxious to play, uh, we'll start playing against the other team a little bit uh, tomorrow and the next day, and then we'll continue our conditioning. And uh, yeah, so it is, it is wide open. Yeah. Personal level for you, the way things went in Toronto, how good is it to come here and sort of turn the page and yeah, it, it, it was. I mean, I love being there. And I love the team, yeah. uh, the coaching staff, uh, everything about it. Uh, we just did not do a good enough job to win games. And uh, uh, quite honestly, I feel uh, that, especially my general manager group there, uh, Dean Lombardi, Paul Holmgren, and Brian Burke, I, I feel I let them down in, in where we didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. Uh, 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 you know, other than. <laughs> Other than not getting a result, I thought it was a great experience to be involved with those athletes and everybody around us. And, hey, you, you got to you got to drive through the adversity and, and some of the things that come at you when you don't win. That's all part of this, and I think it's going to make USA Hockey better in the long run. Was it easier for you to have this to jump right into rather than to sit around? And yeah, I, I drove I drove out of there yesterday morning. Uh, I didn't want to fly. I, I just I rented a car and drove. Uh, oh, just to, yeah, yeah, but it was a good drive uh, to to assess that and also get geared up for this year. So I, I'm very fortunate to jump right into this because, you know, you're disappointed and, and you're a little aggravated that you didn't do the things you wanted to do in that type of tournament. You said you're not threatening any uh, veteran players by any means, but what do you see out of your uh, veteran players and, and their approach uh, and how they've showed up ready to go here? Oh, I, I, think, I think most of the guys uh, have done their work during the summer. We filled them, we gave them all the information they needed at the end of the year as far as what to expect during camp, our testing days, plus the volume of skating uh, uh, within our camp. And I think they uh, uh, they took it to heart, they're business-like. Uh, uh, I thought they led the way today. They, they did a really good job today as far as uh, uh, practice habits and ex certainly within the conditioning scheme. Those young guys, especially the ones that won in Cleveland last year, uh, you see them showing up with that real hunger in their eyes? Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, it's very promising in this organization, some of the youth coming from going through four rounds in the American League. That, that is huge uh, to play all four rounds and also put a ring on your finger at the end of it. So uh, that can't do nothing but help the confidence of these young guys. And, uh, you know, we've let it know, known to them it's wide open. And just answering the first question, it's wide open here. And, and that is, that's healthy. Competition is healthy uh, for an organization that's trying to find its way. So uh, I'm really excited about the first day that I've been here and what happened here today. What do you want to see in these first couple of games? I just want them to play. Uh, uh, these games, we're going to see a lot of kids. Uh, uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, uh, teaching of a, of a structure. Uh, we're not going to overload them with information. We just want them to play and allow themselves to play. And, and that's why we don't want to give them too much information. So. Uh, we, you know, we have a 
of a it's the first time I've done it, a split squad playing two games in, in, in really one day. Uh, I think it's great because you get a lot of people in action. So uh, early on, we want them to play. Uh, we'll, we'll continue uh, when we're not playing the games, have some scrimmage games, and we'll filter through and see where, see where we're at as far as uh, when, we, when we get to the middle of that camp, we're going to get those other exhibition games. John, you got the game here tomorrow? Um, Coaching that one. I'm I'm gonna watch. I will be here, uh, but Lars is gonna coach one, and Johnny's gonna coach one. It really gives me an opportunity early on for me to get up to speed with the kids. Uh, when I didn't come in last year, I did not get get a chance to see all these kids. So I want to get up to speed in watching these kids and not coach them on the bench. You, you get coaching on the bench, uh, you just don't see everything because you're involved in so many things. I want to watch the kids play, especially these first couple of games.